Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two, where Art and I every week get together and solve all the problems of the world and share our experiences with you. Art, this week I went to a farmer's market. I haven't well, been to one in a long time. Have, do you ever go to a farmer's market? Uh, infrequently now, but I used to go all the time, especially for fresh fruit. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so every so often, but not as often as in the past, because in the past you could get a bargain there. Not so, to me, not so much anymore. Now it costs more than some of the supermarkets, like Sprouts or uh, even Trader Joe's, where uh, I'll get most of my produce these days. Yeah, yeah. So I, I have not been to a farmer's market in a long time. Mm. And we went to one here in, in northern San Diego County. Big. It's a big one. It's there every week. It's at the courthouse. Mm. And they've, they've got uh, parking for 600 cars on a wow. Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning. Um, so it draws a lot of vendors and it draws a lot of people. And um, they had besides, they have five, get this, this particular farmer's market had five different areas. So they had clothing, they had crafts. Oh, wow. They had um, food trucks, right? Then they had farmers who, who sold their their produce, if you will. Right. And then they had people who were not food trucks. Maybe they were part of the food truck crowd. They they raised fruit or something mm. and made products out of it. So you'd get you'd get a, a guy who raises uh, strawberries would sell strawberry jam. Oh, okay. And that would be different, at least theoretically, than the farmer who raised strawberries and sold the strawberries sure. raw. So in that category, there were people who had all kinds of uh, peanut products. And um, there was a woman, we, we bought some meatballs from a woman who raises mushrooms mm. and puts them together with meat, ground chopped meat. And she, she sells the combination mushroom and meatballs, mushroom and meat, right. in meatballs, in hamburgers, in sausage. So she makes the sausage hamburgers, and that's what she's selling. Ah. Fa just fabulous. So, so when I first started going to farmer's markets, I'm sure this is true in your memories, uh, or likely to be, is that they used to be just produce. Right. Uh, uh, not even farm. meat, huh? Farmer, yeah, farm Just stuff. Farm. Yeah. And so um, most of the uh, places I've gone to, depending on the season, uh, they never have watermelons. That was some. That was too. There was enough profit margin and that kind of thing. They never had melons, but they had corn, depending on the season, right. uh, uh, turnips, uh, yeah. uh, all sorts of vegetables. Uh, that uh, when they were in season, you could buy them in quantity and probably get a nice buy. Uh, there, there is one, uh, I forgot the name of it, but uh, I actually wrote it down because I, I used to follow them. They were in uh, mid uh, California someplace that always grew different kinds of fruits, uh, uh, plums and peaches and oranges. And so, uh, and maybe it was a cooperative of sorts where they had five or six uh, uh, different, but they would always have the best, freshest yeah. fruits, and they've expanded to nuts and things like that. So I like that. But what I found was that they, they've, ex the, the ones, the one I go to is in the Aliso Viejo, Laguna Niguel uh, yeah. in uh, Southern California, and, uh, and a few others. And there are, there are specialties there of people who bake bread, specialty yes. breads that we used to find in, in only in, uh, very well stocked uh, yeah. bakeries, yeah. but never in a grocery store. So some of those nuts, as you say, they've added. Then there are there are huts that have vegan stuff, plant based stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, uh, and well, this, uh, this, dairy this and eggs. Market, right. This particular market was very large. Right. Um, and but, had a lot of people, so there were more than you would probably get at an yeah. ordinary weekly farmers market. And, and also, and, if you've ever been to the one in Irvine, I think they have crafts there as well. Uh, yeah. But some of the ones that we have down there locally, uh, although one just opened up in Mission Viejo, that's here I think on Saturday afternoons, that actually yeah. has probably more crafts than it has uh, farmers market. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. 
But the crafts, you know, even the crafts, I didn't see a lot of crafts at this particular place, mm -hmm. but everything is handmade or or made original right. uh, by the vendors. And, and local, that's, local that's crafts. Interesting about yeah, they're, they're all local crafts people. Yeah, yeah. So there's no, there's no brand name products sitting around that you can right. buy. This is all uh, handcrafted or hand grown or whatever. But the fruit, the food, and you're right, there were all kinds of, of fruit and vegetables there, uh, all fresh, all great, all tasty. Um, I noticed that the prices weren't a whole lot better than the, um, uh, than the grocery store. Right. Uh, things like avocados were a little cheaper, but not by much. Uh, corn was cheaper, tomatoes yeah. were cheaper. And boy, what a selection of tomatoes, every kind of tomato you could ever think of. Um, and uh, even things like plucots, if you know what mm. a plucot is, yes. it's a cross between a plum and an apricot. And it's only and, certain times of the year. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so they're well, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. And the food trucks, great. This is not just buy a hot dog or a hamburger. There was one guy had a truck. It, they, they all have tents. So his tent was set up in front of his truck. And his truck was on the side, the side of the truck. The doors would roll up and he would rotisserie about a dozen chickens wow. at a time in his truck. I mean, this guy was, this was his business. And boy, oh boy, they, they look good. I, I bought a, a really weird thing that just sounded terrific and tasted delicious. It was a couple of guys from Indiana, or I don't know where they're from, and they had developed a, it was like a panini, hmm. but it was hash browns. So the sandwich was hash browns, instead of bread, it was hash browns, hash browns, and they put stuff in between, like hamburger, or I had a chicken, I don't know, marsala, something or other. Just fabulous stuff. Did, did they have a vegan version? Uh, yeah, I think they did. As a oh, matter cool. of fact. Well, maybe I'll join you next week. Um, <laughs> but boy, oh boy, I, the, between the food and the fresh vegetables, I was just blown away. Just mm -hmm. really, really good. Well, so that. my point is, mm -hmm. my point is for everybody is that if you have a farmer's market near you, and they're usually what Saturday mornings or sometimes they're Wednesday afternoons, right. whatever it is, um, go to it. Go make a point. Go to it sure. and just it's walk. A it's for no other reason, just for fun. Yeah, yeah. It's and and support your. They're all local people, you know. I mean, I don't know how local, um, but certainly within fifty miles. But the food is fresh. It's it's not like it got on a container in Ecuador and came up here. Not that that stuff is bad, right. or well, up from no, Mexico or from Australia, but whatever it no is, it is dried stuff. Yeah, it is. It is all. Uh, uh, for, at least my experience has been. That no matter where you go, it's it's grown within fifty to one hundred miles. And there there are some people who load up the truck probably Monday morning, and they come down and they work this one on Tuesday, this one on Wednesday, this one yes, on Friday. Because I've probably. seen some of them at multiples, uh, but uh, I've rarely been disappointed with the quality that I purchased. Right. Because it is fresh. Yeah. So farmers markets. By the way, there is, and I don't know much about it, but there is a I think an organization that certifies farmers markets. So you can go online, look that up, and and find out if your farmers market is certified. Whatever that means. Does that mean it's, you know, fresher, or does that mean that there's no stores there? I or don't that, know or that they like business, better business bureau. They paid a fee every year so they can stay on the listing. So they can be certified. Yeah. <laughs> who knows. But at any rate, go to a farmer's market near you and go soon and go often. And I would like to leave you with, even though it's not quite farmer's market, uh, with uh, something that maybe is appreciated is, is, and then you'll go out there humming E-I-E-I-O or something like that. And if you don't, at least you get some decent uh, fruit and vegetables. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.